In this video, I'm going to go over using landed costs with manufacturing to accurately account for labor and overhead. First, let's go into our inventory app, go to products. I have a couple products set up that we're going to use. I have a manufactured product, which is manufactured. I have two components and I have a bill material that consists of component one and component two. The cost price for component one is $10. And the cost price for component two is $15. They are in our all product category, which is has a costing method of APCO and an inventory valuation of automated. In our production location, we have our whip account set on our production accounts. So incoming outgoing, go to our whip account. Now, if we go to our manufacturing application, and we go to products, build materials. We'll see that we have a build material here for the manufactured product, which consists of component one and component two. We have landed costs enabled. So if you go to inventory settings, you can scroll down to landed costs and make sure you have that enabled. And that's gonna allow you to apply landed costs and operation landed costs. In our accounting app, I created one chart of account for labor. And we're going to use labor as an example. As you can see here, it's an expense account. Currently, our balance in our labor account is $480. So if we go to our profit and loss statement, we'll see that our labor account has $480. So we incurred $480 of labor expenses. Now, in our manufacturing app, let's go and produce a bill, uh, a manufacturing order. So we'll go to operations manufacturing orders. We'll click create and we'll add our manufactured product. Now you'll see a smart button here that says landed costs. We added this using Studio, but you don't have to use Studio to do this. And if you don't wanna have a button here, you can easily go to inventory and go and add the landed costs manually. This just makes it a little bit easier. So if you go into Studio and we click our plus sign right next to our landed costs, you can add a new button. Let's call it landed costs again. And you just select the related field called landed costs and you can confirm, which will create a new button. Since I've already done that, I'm not going to do it again. So now let's confirm this order and we'll say that it's complete. We have these components in stock already. So let's confirm. And we can mark this as done. Now that we've added or created another manufactured product, we currently have two in stock now, total, and we're using Avco. The cost analysis for this product is total of $25 for this one particular unit. Now what we wanna do is add a landed cost for the labor of this manufactured product. So let's go into landed costs. We'll click create. We'll click apply on manufacturing orders and we'll click manufacturing order number two. And we'll add a product down here, which is going to be our labor. We created this labor account or this labor product, which is a landed cost. If you go to purchase, you can see is a landed cost is checked. We have our default split method set to equal. Now I'm going to change this account here to be labor. And I'm going to say that we incurred $20 of labor fees for this manufactured product. So now I can validate this and it's going to apply this $20 to our product. Keep in mind, you can do this for any type of uh, product. So if you have labor, overhead, maybe boxes, um, anything that you want to apply to the cost of your manufactured product, you can use landed costs to do so. So now we're going to validate this. We can look at the valuation adjustments. We see a quantity of one, original value was $25 and the new value is 45 because we added the $20 of landed costs. Now, if we go to our products, we look at our manufactured product. We currently have two in stock and the average cost is $45. If we go to inventory, reporting inventory valuation, we can take a look at our manufactured product. You'll see that I had an example one that I completed before this video with the same operation. So we have $25 for the product based on the bill material goods. And then we have a landing cost of 20 um, and same thing with, with what we just did right now. Now let's go into accounting. Let's go to our profit and loss statement. 
and we'll see our labor reduced by 460 because we created a journal entry to reduce our labor and increase our stock valuation. So now if we look at our journal items, we'll see that we added $20 or we credited $20 from our labor account and debited our stock valuation. So we can take a look at that journal entry as well. So we have our stock valuation being debited and our labor account being credited, which is going to increase our stock valuation and decrease our expenses which is exactly what we want because our stock valuation should reflect the actual cost of making the good. So that is all you have to do to apply a landed cost to a manufactured product and accurately account for your labor, overhead, and whatever else you want to account for.